YouTube. Do you ever have a job or a task that you do that uh, no matter how hard you try, it either goes tits up or a small job uh, ends up being a big job? A little bit like the uh, you know, like the Midas touch in reverse. For me, that seems to be DIY, and uh, in particular jobs that I do on the bike. Um, I'll give you an example. A couple of weeks ago I was uh, needing to uh, top up the coolant on my on my ER5 which you know is a fairly simple job for most people anyway. Anyway I went to uh, top it up and I uh, took the lid off the, uh, the coolant reservoir and uh, I topped it up went to put the uh, lid back on and uh, couldn't find it. Looked everywhere for this bloody lid. Uh, now this lid is black and my drive is black so I'm thinking oh, I don't believe it so I'm scrambling around on the drive trying to find a black lid. Anyway I managed to find it after about five or ten minutes and the bloody thing had slipped down the side of the reservoir. So anyway put the, uh, put the lid back on, put the seat back on and uh, just happened to turn away and I bloody caught the bike and uh, knocked it off its centre stand. I just couldn't believe it. So anyway, the fucking bike had landed on its side on the driveway and uh, it unfortunately had smashed the indicator. So I thought, oh, yeah, I don't believe it. So I went to pick it up and as I picked it up, the bloody handlebars bent. I thought, I don't believe it. Can anything else go wrong with this sodding bike? So anyway, I managed to get the thing back up on the centre stand and I kind of bent the handlebars back a bit so, you know, they weren't too bad but clearly they're bent and uh, at some point I'm going to have to uh, replace them and uh, I looked at the uh, indicator and it was, it was smashed beyond repair so anyway, it was a Sunday so the only shop that I knew about that was open on a Sunday was a, a shop over in Nottingham which is about, I don't know, 10 or 15 miles away so I went over to Nottingham bought these uh, mini indicators and I came back and uh, I opened the packet and uh, bugger me, one of the indicators was faulty one of the indicators didn't have the uh, connectors on the end I thought, oh, I don't believe it. Why Why does this happen to me? So I thought, you know what? I'm not going back over to Nottingham. Not now. It'll have to wait till the, the following weekend. So I thought, bugger it. So the following weekend, I set off to Nottingham to exchange these bloody indicators for, for some ones that are okay. Got them exchanged, that wasn't a problem. Came back, uh, went outside to fit them got everything you know undone and ready went to fit them and lo and behold the bloody connectors on these indicators were not compatible with the connectors on the bike I thought oh, fucking hell it, this thing only happens to me so I thought oh sod it I can't be arsed with it I'll just have to I'll have to sort it out another day anyway that afternoon a mate of mine who uh, happens to be an electrician rang me up says are you busy I said well yes and no but if you've got nothing to do mate, you want to come over and you know, help me sort out the bloody indicators? Because I explained to him what the problem was, he said, oh yeah, no problem, I, I can sort that out for you. So anyway, he came over and uh, he had to uh, snip the uh, existing connectors off these indicators and put some uh, other connectors on with a crimping tool and I thought, I don't believe it. I mean to say, I went over to Nottingham to exchange them because the original indicators, well one of them was faulty, didn't have any connectors at all and all you've done is bloody snip the ends off of it and he didn't bother going over to Nottingham at all and he just burst out laughing I thought, it just, I just don't believe it, these things always happen to me so anyway, he managed to do it for me and uh, you know, they work now but I've still got to do this bloody handlebar at some point but uh, I just wondered whether, you know, there's a job or a task that, you know, you have a go or you've attempted to have a go at in the past that, you know, for whatever reason never seems to go to plan 
it either fails miserably or turns out to be you know a much bigger job than it originally anticipated so uh, you know let me know in the comments below whether that's something that kind of happens to you or whether it's just something that happens to me you never know anyway guys I think that'll do so as always ride safe and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time